Everything okay in here? Sharon and I are fine. Can't answer for him. You two have never met my father, have you? Only on the phone. Father, I would like you to meet the man I'm going to marry. And our good friend, Hank. That was some performance, Mr. Crane. I've met a few sleazy people in my life, but you definitely take the cake. I don't have to stand here and take this. No. You're not going anywhere until I'm through with you. You're a loser. I hardly think so, officer. I'm one of the wealthiest, most powerful... Losers in the world! I wish I would have had the opportunity to have met Sheridan's mother. She must have been a very special person. Your daughter bears no resemblance to you whatsoever. Furthermore, you don't know the first thing about her. She is a special, generous, and beautiful person. And she's got more courage in her little finger than you will ever know. And that's why I'm the luckiest man in the world. Because I'll be marrying her in a few days. And that's why you're the sorriest. She's got nothing to say about it from here on in. I can't keep you away if you insist upon coming to the wedding. But I'm sure you'll understand why I would like to walk down the aisle by myself. It's painfully obvious that you don't approve of this marriage, and I'm not going to start my life with Louise with lies. You think you know everything about me, Sheridan. But do you honestly believe you know everything about yourself? What's that supposed to mean? Don't listen to him. It's just a sore loser trying to get in the last word. Think what you like. Goodbye, Father. I'll make the coffee. Hmm. You okay? It hurts to know for sure now that my father never loved me. But at the same time, I was able to get past some old ghosts. Now I know nothing will ever come between us. Nothing. Hmm.